Hello everyone. <laughs> I'm finally going to color in The Lost Ocean by Joanna Bashford. And um, actually while I was waiting for a video to upload, I went ahead and, and started. And um, this is what I've done. I really get all my lights on. This is all done in, in the um, Castell um, art pencils. And there are other pencils that are very reasonable. Where's my little paper to see where we're at? Okay. And I think I've mentioned them. I'm just checking to see. Where the top is. There we go. Okay. So this is what we're going, I, I'm going to color. And I'm going to start with um, the ink of gold. So all you need to do is find a color close to this, okay? You don't have to have every color, but um, I really like this color. I, I just wish you could buy these. Um, I gotta, sorry, I gotta reach over and get my my little pillows and this is why I cut a bunch of them in half is because they fit so much easier and um, I color so much that they really give me a nice cushion cushion on my hands and that is what we're going to do so now I'll put these aside and this aside and since I've already there we go since I've already done this side all I have to do is figure out what I did huh so basically what I I did let me just this one is I you can see that I just took the ink of gold and I colored all of his little body in where there wasn't something and this isn't even on my finger you can tell how much I love this compared to a one that's only been sharpened once I've used it a lot but there are other cheaper pencil uh, that they claim are pretty close to Prisma. Let's see where I'm at. Okay. For $19. 20 bucks. So I think the next time I am going to try when these start running down. I just keep checking my little guy to see where all I am colored. I, I do like um, Castle Art. I'm doing an, another picture in here with Castle Art. I, I stopped here and let's see where did I and I started here uh, on this page and uh, these are all castle art these that I did here are castle art um, metallics and I, I'm just not liking them that much I ended up erasing and I, I left it like it is uh, my little dome 
because it just didn't it just didn't blend and uh, I took a lavender and went over this and um, so that's me whether I'm right or wrong I don't know so this is what what I'm um, working on when I'm uploading something so I'll show it to you when I get it get it done but for now this is what we're working on we're working on these two seahorses which I think are going to be beautiful and these just take a light touch to color with and to fill in with I really enjoyed it was really hard to stop because I was, I was just enjoying um, coloring with these They're, they're, I, I think they're more of a simple, just a smooth color experience with these castle art, both, both, both the regular and the. pastels I like I like them a lot and um, I love the colors I like how they color so I'm thinking this is my thought and uh, I was looking for my eraser I got I don't know why I have to get it off right away when I mess up I'm sure it comes off. It doesn't have to be <laughs> right away. But uh, I think I put his little eye. So I think polychromo and then castle art and then prisma. I don't know how that relates, but That's, I think that's how I've lined them up, coloring with them. But again, with Castle Art, you cannot replace a color. And that's hopefully will change at some point. I'm going to move this light down. I'm getting shadows. That's putting a shadow on there, too. I have a light on either side. It's probably the time of the day, too, isn't helping. So I've listened to a lot of your um, thoughts on some of this stuff. And I think we all have a different experience. Some think Prisma are the best thing since peanut butter. And some think um, Polychromo is, is the best. So, I think it's an individual experience, don't you? It's finally warming up here. I hope it's warming up where you're at. We're actually supposed to have two or three days in the 80s. <laughs> Whoa. Won't that be nice? One nice thing about putting these little things on, I know which color pink I used where. 
when I'm doing uh, something. I think I used a darker pink on that little top. I don't know why I like seahorses, but I do. I think they're cool. And I think she did a beautiful job drawing these. I just, I just thought it was so pretty, and I'm really trying hard to get out of the other two books that I've been, not that I'm leaving them, but um, trying just to get into something a little different. And I thought, okay, it's time to start. And I want to get into my Asian and my, uh, <laughs> I want to do everything. You understand? I want to do them all. And you can't do them all at once. So I guess you just got to take your time and enjoy the ride. Forget the bad things that happened to you yesterday and move on. But I did go, I did that um, girl, is what I'm talking, referring to, uh, the Victorian lady. And um, so I had to go return that color book, got to talk to some ladies and tell them about my YouTube, because they love to color too. And uh, I had left that book inside of one of those things that they come in, you know, from. I'm looking to see if I need that color anywhere else right now. Uh, because I wanted it protected. I wanted to take care of it and be, you know, because it, it was a beautiful book. It just, I just was not impressed with it at all. I just was disappointed. And... Um, Oh, that little girl pulled it out and she said, oh, I love the color. And she looked at it, too, and she was like, wow, it, it was a disappointment. I don't, I don't understand, but okay, we're just testing. So we just went kind of three quarters the way, and I left this a little bit right there. So that kind of made me feel better, but man, from the cover, it looks so beautiful. And it wasn't, not inside. It didn't have anything like that on the inside at all. It just looked like, um, I think that's pink right there. I did a little bit of pink, but I think I'll wait until she comes out with something a little more my taste. Somebody else might think it's beyond beautiful. Okay, that's this. Oh, I did this. But I said all that to, I went into Goodwill and I found me a, a really pretty frame for my girl. The glass has something stuck on it, so I'm soaking it, trying to get it clean. Well, it's the, it, it looks brand new. I don't know if it is or isn't. Maybe there was something they took it out, but it was, um. I'm always looking for a white pencil. It's just this one. And this is Prisma. I guess we could put some Prisma white in here. Just a touch. So I found a real pretty frame. I think I paid $5 for it. And you would have paid at least $30 for it in a... I'm just going to highlight that little white spot. And the pink kind of comes around. And then, oh, I see. I see what I've done. Okay. This spot under his eye. And 
then I did the back. I was looking how I did it. I, I made the back heavier and the front lighter. And I put a little bit in his nose. And I need to come out a little more. Yep. Light to dark, light to dark. I need a little darker to match up that one. This is kind of going to be like that little color book that I got. Where you have one page where it's done. And the other page, you do it and try to make it match up. So one day I'm going to dig into that one. All right, so we've got some of the green in his little crown. They're really quite little. I always thought they were they were bigger. That reminds me of you know the Roadrunner cartoon. Do you remember that one? They uh, he's always going beep beep, and he's running when we were kids. When I was a kid, and maybe someone who's watching. Anyway. When I moved to New Mexico, I was an adult, but I'd never seen a, a Roadrunner before, just on, just in the cartoon. So when I saw them in real life, they got little short legs. They're all over the place. And I was like, you're kidding me. Why would they give that Roadrunner long legs? I I was disappointed. It's funny how you get to thinking something you saw on TV is the truth and it isn't the truth at all. They just want you to believe that. You get my meaning. Okay, now it's that green. My fancy green. I think it was this green. Yep. On the inside. You can tell I really like this green. But I did find in... I think both sets of my pencils this color, something really similar to this color. So that made me happy. Because that's what this all is. It's just a little bit of pink. And then uh, that color. All right, so now we're just doing the flowers and I, I try not to get to the very edge but sometimes I just have to go in with my handy dandy eraser and take it off this is really a fun Fun little picture to do. I am going to next week look into opening a Facebook. And then if you've painted this, and whoever, you can share your version of it. And I think that would be fun to see it, or if you're coloring along to see what you've done. Because even if I'm coloring along with someone, there's always things I change. 
something. It's never exactly. But we learn so much. I think I need to take just a little up to this edge. Sometimes my little old eyes get tired and I don't see as well as I want to. And then we'll put the little black dot in. So now all of this is a peach color. Nope, not that one. Here it is. So what is this one? Almond Rose. Hmm, that's pretty. So I just colored all of it and then I went came back down with with um the other color. I tried to leave a little bit at the end. If not, I'm gonna do it lightly so that I can come back. I'm just gonna lay those down. I don't have to hold them. I'm trying to get my thing my Thanksgiving dinner together. <laughs> Easter. My friend comes over and eats. It's been mostly the only time we eat together. It's on a holiday. He used to do the cooking and bring it out. <laughs> I think since I started doing it. I messed up. Not really. I, I like to cook too. Not all the time, but well, I cook, but I don't even go out very often to eat. I like to cook. My sister bought me for Christmas one of those fryers, air fryers. And wow, do I love that thing. Now I think, yeah. So I used the uh, blushing rose. And I just came down a little ways. This I have to be more careful of, not to come to the end, because I can't just erase it. Well, I can if I need to. But I want that orange to show out underneath it. And I'm thinking... I want to take that aqua um, chalk and just do a little bit for all the background so that it looks like it's underwater. That's, that's my thought anyway. All right, so we're moving pretty quickly. So now we need to go... Well, let's do, let, I'm going to fill in the little bit here as we go down. Looks pretty next to this color. It's hard to tell sometimes what's what. It's kind of why it's nice to go ahead and fill in my background. Makes it easier for me to see. What's popping out needs to be colored. 
Oops. I went over that leaf. kind of loose in my day. I don't know if today's Thursday or Friday. But when you're retired, it doesn't really matter. It's just the rest of the world you kind of have to keep up with. I had to retire early, early because of the sensitivity to the smells. Which I'm doing much better than I, I have. I can even go to church and as long as nobody's got any real strong stuff on, I'm okay. I'm grateful for that. This one's tricky. It tricks you because there's little spots. That you don't see. And on this one I tried, I'm went over that leaf. I don't know what I thought it was. But I didn't think it was supposed to be a leaf. <laughs> I don't know what color I painted it, colored it, but I did. I know my coloring style is, is simple. I do add a little bit of what is in the style, the coloring. But this is just my style. I, I, I even when I watercolored, started doing that. I quit the oil because I couldn't take the, the smell. I couldn't even do acrylics for a while because it would affect my lungs too. So I finally just gave in and worked hard trying to learn. I think watercolors hard because I want to. I want to color it. I don't want it. You know, and, it, and that's not the way you do it. Of course, it's changed a lot now. Whoops. I got out of the line. Just want to make sure it's kind of filled in. And it looks pretty good. Sometimes you have to stop. And step back and when you come back you start seeing where you need to work on it a little bit I think I just ignored no I, I okay I went around these little things and then made them green This is really a pretty easy page to color. I 
I get this. Because sometimes I forget too that I went out of the line. And when you go over the top of it with something, then it's kind of permanent. I think the hardest part is filling his little body in on this picture. I mean, you could use a pretty green. You can just make your imagination with coloring these guys. A lot of colors. Get that little color wheel out if you get it. I really like that thing. Gives me ideas. Or go on to Pinterest and uh, pull up colors. Pull out those pencils. And uh, put those colors together. Add colors that you wouldn't think about doing. I think that's the fun part, is when you, I mean, I wouldn't think about doing this gold, but I've seen different pictures that I liked with the yellow, gold, and red. That are very appealing to the eye. And that's what I want to look at is something I like looking at. Something that makes me. All right, we did it all the way to the little tail. I got all my little chores done, all my running done. So now I can just sit and relax. Color my little guy. Well, my Easter dinner will be very simple. Got a ham, I'll do my little thing to it and Got some sweet potatoes. I'm going to put some cinnamon and let's see if we can turn this. And some little baby marshmallows. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to color that. Somebody wasn't watching me. <laughs> you probably weren't saying, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? You're not supposed to. Uh, how come I'm always like, like, wow, this is so pretty. I love these pastels. Anyway, I think when they start running low, I'm just going to mix them in with the other ones, the other uh, castle art. And then I can always get um, a little bit of white spot. So, oh, we forgot the inside of this one. And right in the middle is a little jewel, I think. Now I've watched. 
time after time doing that, so let's see if I can do it. I'm not sure. I think they just alternate colors of you know, two or three colors. So I'll pick something out of this bunch and Do it. That's good. Oh, we're doing good. I really don't want to keep my videos no more than an hour and a half at the minute because that's all my my uh, space I have on my phone to rotate them and so because actually I take it in to Microsoft from my phone and do it but it it did not want to okay I think our tail is the same and so now hmm let's start on his little belly and work our way down So where are we here? I'm trying to see what color that is. I think that's that's too dark. And what's in the center? That pretty lavender, I like that. These colors too, they, they're like velvet. So. Okay, so I think I just went over this with this. And that was that, um, Peachy color, right? Yep. So I just filled it in. I never know if my hands in the way where you can see or not, so I try to hold my pencil way back so you can see. And then we just go up to. It's this color lavender. Let's try it. And I colored the whole thing in. Okay. Yep, it looks like it's this one. And there we go again. That is pretty. Then we came down here and we did this color. And there's a little pink in these little spots. And then we left a little white spot. And that's that soft green on the inside. What is this called? Bay Bear Bay Berry. And my 
did we do? We went with the lavender or the pink. I think we went with the pink. Yeah. Lavender and pink. And lavender in the center. Some ways this is nice. You don't have to think. You just look over there and find what you did do. I didn't even I didn't even color <laughs> the uh little ring around there. Well, let's just do this in this peach. Oh, that works good. I can't tell that was... I can't tell if that was... So I think, just do pink in that little hole. No, I did background color. I mean, you wouldn't really probably know it, but since I'm trying to ma match it up, might as well. Do it the way I did it, and then just pink. Oh, I even got the fan on today. The overhead one kind of feels good. Not to be all bundled up in a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a sweater. Wool socks, <laughs> my big fuzzy slippers. I did a little bit darker, I think. Let me just come back in and do it. Just a little bit more. I like, I really like that one. So we're doing the lavender now. The two lavenders and what's in the center, that light green. And then we're doing the light color on the inside. So if you're picking from something else, just pick a light and a dark lavender. If you're trying to follow along and you don't have these, pick a pink, pink a, a light, uh, Kind of a greenish teal, but very light. And then a little darker one. And a pink. And it'll come out similar. And when you don't see my colors, you'll think yours are the best ever. <laughs> Oh, 
for me, if I like it, that's all that matters. If I'm happy. All right, so now we've got to go pink in the center, pink on the edge. See how fast this is? This There's really not that much to this little guy. And even these um, went really fast. But I just, oh, I just love it. So we're going for the light teal. Where are we at there okay so we're going to the center we also went around that little line that little lip now any picture that you want to do doesn't have to be these guys use these colors and do whatever picture it is you're doing okay and we'll go back to the pink. And I'll bring that teal back. Is that what I did? Maybe I'm just supposed to go like that and blend it a little more. Oops. I don't know if you saw that, but there's orange, the the yellow, and I pulled it up into my little pink. So if you push your pen back, you can pull it back out of there. And don't let it come back up there again. Okay. I said, okay, I just need to do this little eye. And it's in the front. I just kind of want to do it the same way. This is my... Uh, one of my sets of the Tombow for uh, calligraphy because when you it'll push down and not that I got really great at it something happened and then I didn't I didn't um, continue with it so I have everything one day I'll probably try it what is in the color I think it's just a light And then just kind of going out, but not all the way out. That's what it looks like. I was a little stressed last night, and I just needed something to relax. And that's when I, I thought, what am I going to color? I pulled out another uh, book, and it had... Um, some big fish at the top and a city at the bottom and I thought those would be fun so now we need the pink in the center where did it go right behind this one and our little light peach and we tried to leave the ends white Okay, and this one is purple in the center. It's right below, so it is purple in the center, and this one is the peach. Okay. And green around its little doing this it's, it's the pink one you're doing the pink one okay but it's still the green and then the pink oh 
I've been thinking because I make earrings. I didn't get my ears pierced until about six years ago. And I just went down and I, I did it. But I used to have a lot of problems with the metals because um, they always made things that were not hyperallergenic and all that stuff. So I, um, anyway, I went and got them pierced and I had some little diamonds put in there. And then I got crazy. And I just started making all kinds of earrings. I have box after box of different ones. But what I was thinking was if you took some watercolor paper and you drew a little design, you could even trace something off of your out of your color books, trace it onto those little papers, however you wanted to make it. I like, I don't like my earrings more than an inch long. I, that's, and, uh, and I like them light. So even through all of this, I usually get up and put my earrings on. And, uh, oh, what goes around lavender? So anyway, I was thinking about that would be really cool because I took some clay and I made triangles like, and then I I used um, the ink and colored. I, I etched like a cactus and things in these little little triangle things, and. Um, they came out really cute. So I was thinking to color, do some with colors. Where are we at right here? That is green, but this is pink. And then take the UV and, and um, stuff and put it over the top of them. And so it would make them a lot thicker and sturdier and they would be really pretty so I I may try that and then in some video um, just make a video on doing that and then if somebody wants to see it they can see it if not don't hurt my feelings if you don't want to But I seen a guy do these out of watercolor bracelets and earrings that match. And they're really pretty, but by the time he builds them up, they're 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 nice. Okay, so here we got this. Let's do this. So anyway, that was what. My I'm always thinking that's where I get in trouble. I want to do everything. We did the pink on the inside. I think that's just the green too. So we're just going to do it. And the pink. I love pink and green. I love this gold. I love this color. I always have. So where are we? Where are we? Here we are. The two color purples on this one. This seems like this one's darker. 
Okay, let's get the two colored purples. So I think the center the light and then this and the dark purple Now where are we? When do you need to put your finger on here so I keep remembering? <laughs> so I think... I can't tell. If not, we'll go over the top of it. We'll make it this color, <laughs> whether it likes it or not. And that one's purple too, and we did... The dark purple around the rim. Oh, we didn't do the rim on this one. That one's pink, too. Let's do this one real quick. It's really a tight little spot. But we did it. Okay. So here we are again. So we're going back to the light purple. And how did we do it? I think we I just tipped the ends with the uh, darker. Just I'm gonna just try to just leave a little little bit of white and uh, just. I've been watching a little bit about, his name isn't Opie, but Ron Howard. He's got his life and his brother's life on on YouTube. Oh my gosh. We have all the flowers. Okay. So, anyway, it was, it was just interesting. All we got to do is back. Holy moly. Let me kind of turn it sideways. And we're going to outline the whole, okay. We're going to outline all of this and then come back in with the lighter and darker lavender. And I really want to put some diamond glaze a little bit on him. On this part. Just a little bit. I don't want it to get crazy. But if it's yours and you want to go crazy, you can. Because you're special. So you make your picture special. So I missed a little spot there. And there. I better check our timing when we get this part done. But it is all being okay. It's going the right direction. <laughs> wow. Now, if I was using a camera, it would be a little different. But I, this isn't a, a fancy phone, it's just a Galaxy. Always have to write it down because I don't remember. A Galaxy 
five something, I don't know. And if it was my old phone took better pictures than this phone, actually. And I didn't pay near the money that this one cost. But if I knew what I was going to be doing with this eventually, I would have thought a little more about it. But that's okay. I think they're turning out okay for now. I'll tell everybody for my birthday, send me money, <laughs> like my kids used to do. They got into all the fancy tennis shoes, and I'd say, I'll give you what I would normally pay, and then you can ask everybody to donate for your birthday so you can get, and that's how they would get their fancy tennis shoes. I had good kids, normal kids, but they were good. You can say that even easier once they're been grown. <laughs> my kids are, I think my daughter's 45. That's just hard to believe. My mom and I used to talk about, we'll be two little old ladies walking down the street going, well, how's your day? <laughs> and she's 90 some years old now. 92 or could be a little older than that but okay let's see yeah I think I need to just a little heavier right in here at the bottom because you kind of get that little gap here and there you don't but it's still just even like this turning the page and then you see little white spots and it looked like you had it covered pretty darn good and so is that a lesson for us or what <laughs> okay I think we're going to get this finished up. Let's do our little leaves. And then here I used, actually I just went in with this. And it's like a fluorescent. <laughs> what color is this? Oh, this is lime. Hmm. You, you, I don't know if you can even see that, that it's all one. But it's lime. And it's, I think, number 25 if you have these pencils. So I just went in here with the, the lime. I didn't even shade them. I just wanted them to sh stand up behind this, this gold. And these little leaves I got. Oops. I got the gold on them. A little bit wouldn't be bad, but they were solid. Okay, and what color did I do that? I did that in that light green. I 
And then I think I went I think I went around them with this. And then I did the here, and I think no, I did I did the lines. And then I came in with that with that green, little green green. And I just went over it all. Let me look again. Okay, so I went on the inside of these. A little black spot. Well. Filled it in. I see a little tiny spot that needs a little background filled in. And then, yeah, I think I went over it with this and then I went back over it with that same limey green. And then back to the limey green. But it looks a little darker. I'm just going to press harder. Maybe I had covered the whole thing and then went over it with this. But it, it'll be close enough, right? Okay, now we did the top and bottom, so we just got to do the two flowers and the little pink, pink ones, three of those. So let's see, I, I outlined it with the limey green. Where's this one? Here's this one. So let's outline it. We'll get those done. Then we'll come back in and we'll do the leaves. And we did the... I did it heavier in the center and then I just did it real light at the end. Light at the end. Looks just like it. All right, did I, I did the same one up here. Might as well do that one. And these are really easy because I just outlined uh, one side of them with pink and then came in and colored them. 
and they go pretty fast. I am pressing hard because I want it I want it to really hold its color. I don't want to have to come back. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Press harder at the top and then just let it fill in. Let that fill in. Reminds me of sherbet ice cream or something. <laughs> they have these, um, which I'm sure everybody knows, but in the grocery store, they're the fruit uh, popsicles. Which reminds me, and they were on sale for, if you bought two, you got them for $1.99. They have always been at least $5. And I noticed some other things that are coming down. And the biggest thing I noticed was diesel. Diesel was comparative to around in, here in Denver to uh, regular gas, which I think were $350. There's some that are a little higher, some a little lower. But I thought... That in itself is going to help bring our groceries down. So that makes me extremely, extremely happy. So let's come over here. And I just filled this in with pink. And just did the tip with the green. Nothing fancy. And did I use the, whoops. Yep. I used this limey green too. Looks like that one. And I think just one more up here. So we're going to do the pink. I am pressing a little bit more firmer on these. Um, particularly at the bottom and then lightening up a little bit like right in here and then just lightening up a little bit and then take your limey green I love it. 
Okay, now the fun part. <laughs> so, like on this one, I did the bottom. So I just went around the bottom a couple of times. And then right here. And here. And there. And on this one, where did I go? I went, it's on the top, so I'm going to start at the top. And then just in between each one of the leaves. And the same with this one. And I didn't do the back. So this one too. I mean, you can do them. You know, as you come to them too. I'm just trying to speed this up just a little bit because we're starting to run out of time. But this pink line is what really pops. Okay, I'm just looking to see what I did, which side I did. So once you start one, you just kind of go in, follow the, follow the lead. So this one we did the front, but I switched to the back because the dots are in the back. And then all I have to do is come in with the green and fill it in all of this so these are on the top and this one's on the bottom so I'm just trying to make it match this. So this one we're doing to the back. And then we got this one. It's on the back, okay. starting to, to run out of light. And I don't know about this little jewel thing here. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. We'll add a couple more colors. Okay, we've done that. We've done that. We're done. We're in, we're in here. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the bottom. We're on the bottom. And we're on the top. Now how did I switch from the bottom to the top? Oh, it's on this side. Okay, all right. But on this side, I did do the top. And then I did the bottom. It's not going to matter. I'm so close now. So 
to the bottom the bottom and then we're moving into this one so it's on this side that's what was confusing me If you want to learn some cool tricks, watch Joanna and uh, she's got a book out. I, at some point I, I would like to get it on drawing. I think that would be because when she showed me about that bug, <laughs> that was really, really cool. All right. Now, everything is going to be this color from this point on. And I, I'm not going to sharpen it yet because, oh my gosh, was I plumb out of the focus? I was, wasn't I? I was. I'm sorry. But all I was doing was, um, I got intent, was feeling, uh, doing all the pink. And I miss this pink here. So, all we're going to do now is just color the stems. There's my paper right there. And stay. And just fill it in. I do have a pencil extender that I'm probably going to have to use pretty soon. So I can use up all my pencil. Okay. I was hoping we'd have enough time to do the background. But this has to be done before you can do the background, so I can't. And I am going to use the chalk. The chalk is smoother, and I want to do it in like an aqua green. And I just want to do lightly. Not nothing crazy heavy. Like I, I just want it to kind of look like it's underwater. And I didn't do no, I didn't do no shading in these except for the pink. That's that's really all I wanted. I don't, I I didn't want it to be any more than what I made it. Because it's our picture, we can do what we want. I 
Now I'm trying to hurry and I'm getting out of line. to sharpen this thing. If I keep it on this paper, then I know I'm in, and I just, I just got intent, and I didn't. It goes fast. It's not, it's not a, like intensive, like the sailing boat, black the blue background that that took some work but I sure do like it Got addicted to those little yogurt flip tops. One side is the yogurt and one side has little goodies in it. You pull the top off and you uh, dump it in there. And uh, it's good. It's my ice cream. <laughs> I love ice cream. But I try not to buy any because I, I would sit there and I'll think, oh, well, I'll have just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. You guys are seeing this better than I am as it's getting done. I just love it. The colors make your make your whole thing just come alive that's why I like that little color wheel thing it really helps pick out some colors I wouldn't use or think of and even when you go on to the color palette in uh Pinterest, there's some pretty ones in there, but it's work to go in there and find some, or the, I don't know where, I just, I just li like this little thing because it's right next to me and I grab it and I just think, I wonder what colors it suggests that we'll go and I messed up right there 
there's not supposed to be anything in there. I'm going to have to come back. And find some better quality erasers than what came with this thing. But they work fine. I'm just, when I refill it, I don't want to get what they put in it because it's, it crumbles a lot. It does weird things. <laughs> I like the Dewart uh, eraser refills. You get a lot of them for not that expensive but anyway I, I was I start to say something then I forget everything I wanted to say it just seemed like grocery prices were coming down I'm like gosh I hope so I hope things start looking a little economically better the diesel came down shipping and everything should come down and at some point some things should come back to where kind of where they used to be because we're still getting plenty of stuff from china that's for sure but what about the stuff from America? That's what I was wondering. I guess I'm thinking out loud and I just shouldn't be. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. Oh my gosh, so pretty. my hand over the whole picture so you can't see it, huh? I try to keep my hands out of the way. I try to stay in focus. <laughs> I try to stay where I'm under the camera. Sometimes you get intense and it's like, whoa. I think I'm going to need to put the humidifier on a little bit. It seems so dry. Sometimes I'll just boil a little water. That seems to, to help too. Just have one more little thing to do. Oh my gosh. Did we do it all? What do you think? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. If I, I I'm just I just love these colors. Let me, I think we, I think if I do it quick, we can do a little bit of the background. Let me grab my little can of goodies. This, this never takes that long. I don't, I don't mess around. <laughs> so. I just wanted a very light aqua, kind of like, like that. So 
So, where did I put my little knife? I put a new blade in it. I used to put everything back in the exact same jar. In the exact same jar. Always did. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. If not, we'll find something else. Got to be in one of these two jars up here. And I know I just stuck it in there. Okay. I'm not seeing it. So. So. I just need to find... Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder what I call this thing. And then... Let me find over here... There's several things we can use to do this, but I just want it a light. I don't want it. These you can get and put it on your finger. But that's okay. And I think I do want aqua and not. I'm just going to do a little bit here, a little bit there. I'm using the back of my knife because it's really sharp right now. I'm going to lay it sideways across so that this time I don't forget. And I don't know how well this thing would work. Just, I'm just kind of keeping it inside. Well, that worked pretty darn good. And I have a whole bunch of the little things. And now I just want to rub it around and around and just kind of smoosh it into the paper. And then we're done. We have done one beautiful job. I think we need just a teeny bit right there. It looks lighter. There you go, there. Okay, that's that's really all, all I wanted to do. And then I'll take a Kleenex and uh, just kind of clean it up a little bit put my little color back wherever the hole is now I, there it is <laughs> okay that's done we're done I always like to take something and go over the top just to see what I have this kind of seals your pencils in. See, that's not, that's, I pushed it down in there enough to where all right. I, let's 
see if I can lift, lift this up. Whoops. I'm just trying to let you see the whole thing. I will take a picture and put it at the beginning. I just really, really, really like it. And the aqua is so light, but it's just very gentle. So, thank you for joining me tonight. And, um, Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It really helped me to build up my channel to get um, new people to come. And, and you're doing such a great job. And I thank you, every single one of you who have. So, if nobody's told you today that they love you, I want you to know I love you. And I just want you to know that you, you're valuable that you're smarter than you think you are. Look at, look what I did. I didn't think I could do this. And you can do it too. So bless you all. Goodbye.